Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, some student asked me uh, about this formula. Okay. Uh, this formula came from here. You have a point A, x1 and y1, point B over here, x2, y2. When we divide this line segment into the ratio of y a to b, this is the a to b. So we got the point over here, right? Intersection point, x and y. This x coordinate can be obtained by the formula. Memorize, okay? B times the other x1 over here, the other side, not this side, okay? The other side. So B, x1 plus, and using this ratio, A times the other side, x2, A, x2, over some of these two numbers, okay? A plus B. That is X coordinate. Y coordinate, same this. B, Y1 plus B, Y, I'm sorry, A, Y2, right? A, Y2 over A plus B. Okay? That's the formula. If you use this formula, right, it's very useful. Okay? So I'm going to just, why, how you got this formula? Okay, I'm going to explain this one. Just give me one second. From here. This is the point A, x1, and y1. This is the point B, x2, and y2. So we have a line segment. We have point P over here. This point P divide this line segment A to B. Okay, this has coordinate x and y. What is this coordinate of point P? Alright, we already got the answer, right? Okay, x is what is that? A, x2 plus, I'm going to be plus, that's better, right? B, x1 plus A, x2 over A plus B. And y equals B, y1 plus A, y2 over a plus b. That's the formula we already know that. So we're going to prove this one, okay? Okay, this one actually, when you make triangle, right triangle, okay? This point, when you make a divide, this one. This is a to b. This is also what a to b, right? Because this triangle, the other triangle are similar, right? Angle, angle similar, right? What is the length of this side? This side is x2 minus x1, horizontal distance. So this is what? x2 minus x1. But we take only what? a out of a plus b, right? So at this distance, this distance, I'm going to use distance, d1. d1 equals how much? x2 minus x1, entire distance. We take our only portion of A, right? Out of A plus B, isn't it? That's right. So what is the X coordinate? X coordinate can be obtained what? From here. We start this point. X1 plus the distance D1. That is equals to X coordinate of point P, right? When you simplify this one, A plus B is a common denominator. So x1 times a is y, a x1 plus b times x1 is b x1 and plus this one, a x2, right? a x2 minus a x1. a x1 is cancelled out. We got this a plus b, b x1 and plus a x2, right? Can you see that over here? All right. Why the same this? Replace with the y y1 plus y2 minus y1 that is the whole distance we take only this one from here right y1 at the distance d2 right this is d2 this is d1 still a out of a plus b when you simplify this one you get the same thing just replace with y b y1 plus a y2 right that is y coordinate. That's the formula, okay? You might have some uh, practice over here. 
Here is number three. Here is number three, okay? Line segment A of here. Negative six and five. B is all the way. 14 and 10. Okay, divide this one, two to three, right? This is short side, two to three. This is a point P as coordinate X and Y. What is the X? Use the formula, right? That is the easiest way. Formula is a shortcut. Three times the other side X coordinate, negative six, negative 18. Two times the other side X coordinate, two times 14 is what, 28? Over sum of these two, ratio unit 2 plus 3 is 5. Or 5 is 2, right? Y coordinate. Still, the number is 5. 3 times the other side, Y coordinate 5. 3 times 5 is 15. And plus 2 times the other side, Y coordinate 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 35 over 5 is 7, right? So this x coordinate to y coordinate 7. So 2 and 7 is the answer. Okay, choice B is the answer, okay? All right, memorize the formula, okay? Thank you. I hope uh, you understand this one, okay? Okay, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.